when I joined the Bournemouth School Teaching and Learning Group, uh, I saw it as an opportunity to improve on something in my teaching. Um, but I wanted it to be linked in with my performance management. Um, what I came up with was, was marking, because it's something of a weakness uh, of mine. Um, and it's very difficult to kind of improve your marking unless you do further research and look at what other people do. So uh, I get, went out with two aims. Firstly, I wanted my marking to have a positive impact on the students so that they were looking at my feedback, I was giving them advice, and it was improve their performance as a direct result. The second thing, um, and more of a selfish point of view, is I was spending far too long marking and far too long writing comments that were probably irrelevant for the students or they wouldn't look at. Um, I'd give them a grade and that was all they looked at, that's all they were interested in. So that's where I was coming at uh, from my research. So what did I do? I looked at quite a few departmental um, policies, spoke to a few members of staff, um, and I've got to say big thank you to the history department for what they've come up with, the maths department um, for kind of giving me some ideas there, uh, the headmaster who taught me how to use the lookup tables, um, and many, many other people, including all those people that gave me feedback, so thank you very much. This is what I'm trying at the moment. I'm in mid stage. Um, you know, it's not the panacea to all uh, marking problems, but it's something I'm trying and I'm hoping that it works. So, I've got a fictional class here in Excel. So, it's just Microsoft Excel. Um, Alan, Bob, Colin, Daniel, so alphabetical. It's just a completely made up group of students. Come on to that one. I've then got some positive statements that I would say in most year eight books. Okay. Um, so they're just generic statements um, that I can add to later, make this longer. Um, or what I'd like to do um, is make one for each assessed bit of work or each topic um, as we go through. So I think those those statements are okay for now, but they're going to change. The same with targets. These are targets linked to the national curriculum levels, um, targets of how students can improve. So much like any Kind of report writing. Uh, and what I've done is I've given them a code A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, N, etc. Again, I've done that with the positives. G. I just noticed that I just missed that G. Um, what I'll do, and you'll see the reason why later, is I'm going to name that. So define name, okay, and I'm going to call them comments I've actually already called these comments so yeah so these ones are called comments and these you just highlight all of them the two columns and I'm going to call those targets so I go to find name and just type in targets there and okay reason being will become apparent later so positive comments I've looked through the students book and I think you know just out of coincidence really Okay, uh, these are the comments that I want to say for these students. Okay. Um, I've also looked at how they can improve, and I think, coincidentally, that this is how they're going to improve. So those statements from the comment bank earlier on. And of course they would be the most pertinent ones for that child. Okay, so A, well done, you've made excellent progress since I last looked at your book. A, that's what I want to say for Alan. Okay, and that's what I want to say for Nigel in the second one there. Uh, I code is basically it's improvements in targets. So A, analyze physical and human characteristics of places in your work to get that level six. Um, I would have also have copy and pasted the from Sims um, their minimum expected level or grades if they're at GCSE. It doesn't really matter. In fact, I'll change that to 
let's change that. SUMV, um, that in, in our school is uh, how much effort and how well they've been doing, so satisfactory or uh, unsatisfactory or very good. And again, I'm just going to put S for that for now, you'll see why in a minute. Okay, these codes, we're going to use a formula called VLOOKUP. So it's a formula, VLOOKUP, and then we're going to open the information that we want. Now to fix the array, fix this column, uh, you have to put a dollar sign, so C4. Now that looks at this code here, so this is the value that we're going to do. Um, we then need to put a comma. Now the table array, we want to get the information from the comments. That's the that's the comments, the positive comments down here. Um, and I labeled them as comments earlier. Otherwise what you have to do is you have to select uh, the ones that you put information in, which is a bit of a pain. Um, the column index, so this says the column index number. Now you want in this positive feedback here, what was in number two. Column two is the statements that we wrote. And then true or false, false is the exact match of that. So we want false, is we want an exact. And there we are, you've got the statement. Well done, you have made, again, that's the statement that we wanted. We just copy and paste that down. It gives that the lookup for all of those. Okay, and how I've made it look nice is I selected them all. Okay, and I format cells, wrap text. Okay, again, it just fits it in. So Alan now says, well done, you've made excellent progress since I last looked at your book, which is the V lookup code with that formula. Okay, C5, and you can just see the six moving. Now the beauty of using these V lookups is that you can save these for the 3rd of February, which is when I'm doing these ones. Um, and next time, okay, B might be the best statement for them, which you just change it, and it changes it for you. Okay, you don't have to be faffing around. If you put a statement that isn't there, it comes up with that, which you just know isn't very good. Okay, so just to show you the code again, now we're going to look for E4. So we're going to do this E column here. It's equals VLOOKUP. And you can do this on the formula bar up here um, if you want. Open bracket. And we want E, oh, got the dollar, E4. That dollar is actually really important. And we're looking for comments, comments, uh, column two and false again. Just click on it, make sure you've got it right. Copy and paste. Copy that down. And there we are. The I, I've just put it as I could, you can put it what you like, um, is for how they can improve. So how can you improve? V lookup exactly the same, but this time, oops, this time, so you want G4, and we're looking for the targets this time, we're not looking for the comments, we're looking for the targets, two and false, you want exactly the same, okay, and that gives you the targets. So there we have it, we've got two positives, one room for improvement, uh, we've got how they've been working and their minimum expected level at the end, just to remind them, fantastic, save that, so save it where you want, uh, save it somewhere that you can get it, so I'm just going to save it as test2 for the minute on my desktop, you can then close that, close, um, I made a template, for this and what I want is I want areas this is basically going to be stuck into each child's book I've got their name I've got how they've been working the minimum expected level what you did well okay so the positive comments I'm going to put uh, how you can improve and then I've left a space for their own reflection I think that is really important um, for them to reflect on their learning but so you know I'm going to see if that works 
So how you get that information from the Excel to here. Mailings, select recipients, use existing list. This was developed when people were sending letters to loads and loads of people. Okay, so you just want to send same letter but just change a few bits. So go and find the information uh, where you saved it. So I saved it uh, test two on my desktop. So I found that. Um, I know that all the information that I want is on sheet one. And already it's been posted. We then insert merge field. So I go name. So in the name section, I put name SUV SUV. Now. No. Okay, positive comments. Okay, positive comment one. Give us space. Uh, so next line, positive feedback two. How they can improve. How you can improve. Now that's it. Preview results. You can see Alan S Mel six. Um, I've changed both those. Um, okay, but now if you go through, it will change. So Bob, Colin. Dan. So these things change, and what I can do is finish and merge, edit individual, okay, and there you have a set of class feedback that I can print off and stick in their book and then give them time to reflect on their learning.